Isang mapayapang hapon, Pilipinas! Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha Elizalde, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH Radio at sa mga nanonood sa DZRH TV, lalo na sa ating mga kasamahang alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Ang Film Development Council of the Philippines o FDCP ay isang ahensya ng pamahalaan sa ilalim mismo ng tanggapan ng Pangulo. Itinatag ito bilang pagsuporta sa Filipino filmmakers at iba pang alagad ng sining na nagpapagalaw sa industriya ng pelikula, partikular na para sa mga nais ibahagi ang kamalayan at kulturang Pilipino, lalo na sa iba yung dagat. Nasa ilalim din ng FDCP ang Cinema Evaluation Board na nagbibigay ng tax exemptions at tax cuts. Ang Create PH Films Funding Program na nagbibigay ng pondo sa paggawa ng pelikula. Ang Film Grants para sa paglahok ng mga pelikula sa international festivals at ang Philippine Film Export Service Office na umaalalay naman sa mga dayuhang nais gumawa ng pelikula sa Pilipinas. Sa hapong ito, samahan ninyo kaming kabustahin ang mga kaganapan sa Film Development Council of the Philippines at alamin kung ano ang mga dapat nating abangan mula dito sa mga darating na buwan. Kasama ang newly appointed chairman and chief executive nito, ang premyadong direktor na si Jose Javier Reyes. Kaya Huwag kayong maalis, magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Tinesting Sinuri Siniyasan Ang resulta? Super effective ang Shield sa pagpatay ng bakterya at virus. Shield Antibacterial Soap Believe ang mga eksperto sa Philippine Nurses Association At si Mami Iwala ako sa Shield Shield Antibacterial Soap Napatunayang mabisa Ang mga nurse, tiwala ACS Hello, Washi! Laundry day na naman! Yehey! Anong meron? Mancha ng chocolate, oh. butik, may libag pa! Kaya natin yan! With Pride Washing Machine Detergent, may triple stain away formula. Tanggal ang makapit, madikit, at malupit na tumit mancha. Kaya easy-easy ang labada. Mula noon, hanggang ngayon! <laughs> All you need is pride! All you need is pride! ACS Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Art to Art. Nandito pa rin tayo sa Art to Art at kasama natin sa hapong ito ang Chairman and CEO ng Film Development Council of the Philippines, ang Batikang Direktor na si Jose Javier Reyes. Magandang hapon po, Direk. Magandang hapon, Lisa. Magandang hapon <laughs> sa'yo. Maraming salamat at naimbitan niyo ako muli rito. Welcome back to Art to Art. I mean, na, naging guest namin kayo nung 2016. I know, imagine. Walang taon na. matagal na. <laughs> Walang Before taon na Before that, actually, napag-usapan naman namin dito sa Art to Art yung FDCP mm-hmm. as early as 2011 uh-huh. kasama ang former chairman nito na si Brixio si Santos. Si Santos, yes. yes. Uh-huh. So, ang tagal na nun. Oo, uh-huh. matagal na. Medyo may katagalan na. So, 
talagang we have a lot of catching up to do. Surely, surely. Especially oh. since ang parang ang daming nangyari. Oh, ang daming no? na, ang daming oh. ng kaganapan talaga. Oh. <laughs> so, um, simulan natin with your own involvement sa FDCP. Were you already part of the organization before your current appointment? Um, and in what capacity? No, before I was appointed chairman, I first came in as a consultant when uh, Tirso Cruz III was appointed in uh, 2022, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Noong 2022, nung na-appoint siya, uh, tinawagan niya ako okay, mm -hmm. at sinabi niya kung pwede ko siyang tulungan bilang isang consultant at umuo naman ako. Mm -hmm. So from that time until mga until earlier this year, uh, I, I was a consultant pero ang aking specialization was education. Mm -hmm. Ang sabi ko niya sa kanya na kung tutulong man ako, ang isang bahagi na gusto kong i-focus sa aking involvement ay ang edukasyon. Mm -hmm. Tapos nga nangyari na because of very personal reasons, uh, Tirso had to step down. Uh, nung nag-step down siya, bago siya nag-step down, kinausap niya ako, tinanong niya sa akin, uh, Joey, uh, are you willing to take over uh, yung pagiging chairman until maubos yung term ko? Kasi three years yung term eh. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, oh my God, kasi ang laking sakripisyo nun kung maging chairman, kaiba yung consultant kang pasilip-silip mm -hmm. at kung ikaw maging chairman. Because mahirap, it, mahirap maging chairman. <laughs> mahirap maging chairman. Okay. So sabi ko, um... Pwede mang pag-isipan kasi ang dami kong dapat isakripisyo mm -hmm. kapag tinanggap ko yan. Pero in-assess in namin kung ano yung mga pros and cons if I said yes or no. At sabi ko, sige, tatanggapin ko kasi one year and a half lang naman ang itatagal nitong appointment kong ito. So I'm, be, I'm, I'm valid as a chairman hanggang July 2025. Mm -hmm. Now, sabi niya, eh paano ko marinyo ka? Sabi ko, I am valid until 2025. 2025. Sabi ko, okay. I, will, I, will, I will bridge the cross okay, when, <laughs> when I get there. Uh -huh, okay, sabi uh -huh. ko, sige, sige, sige. Kaya uh -huh. tinanggap ko. So from a, from a consultant that I suddenly assumed being a chairman, and Lisa, you're right. Mm -hmm. Iba ang pagiging consultant at iba ang pagiging <laughs> iba. chairman. Okay, uh -huh. okay biglang uh -huh. bumulaga sa akin ang realidad mm -hmm. ng laki ng responsibilidad mm -hmm. na nasa balikat mo, mm -hmm. oras na tinanggap mo ang pagiging chairman. Ang dami din naman kasing sakop ang FDC. Oh yes, oh yeah. yes. Oh. Umpisa natin doon sa nabanggit mo earlier. Unang-una na wala na yung Cinema Evaluation Board. Mm -hmm. Okay, na uh, for a number of years, okay, it has already been nullified na alis na ang Cinema Evaluation Board. Therefore, ang focus ngayon ng FDCP, yung mga ibang aspekto na binanggit mo. Mm -hmm. Unang-una doon, yung uh, pagtulong sa mga filmmakers na pumupunta abroad dahil sila ay napili sa mga iba't ibang mga festivals. Mm -hmm. Okay, ikalawa, uh, yung pagtulong at pagbenta ng Pilipinas para pumunta dito ang mga foreign producers para maging uh, co-producers no ng mga pelikula at mga proyekto na ginagawa dito nagbibigay tayo ng mga incentives mm -hmm. ikatlo uh, tumulong din sa mga local filmmakers mm -hmm. okay sa pagbibigay ng incentives para sa pagde-develop ng mga mga ginagawa ng pelikula mm -hmm. okay at ang pinakaimportante para sa akin yung edukasyon mm -hmm. okay yung pag uh, you have to start them young. Mm -hmm. okay? At yung level ng edukasyon, hindi lamang para sa filmmaker, kundi para sa mga teachers ng filmmaking mm -hmm. at saka higit sa lahat para sa audience. audience okay? Yes. Para okay. may taas natin ang antas ng ating pelikula. Mm -hmm. Kasi alam mo, ang emphasis din ngayon ng FDCP is, o, oh, importante yung pumunta ka sa film festivals, importante yung ibenta mo. Pero there's no point in going to a film festival you have no films to show. Mm -hmm. Wala ka maipagmamalaki. So, umpisahan natin i-develop yung mga producers, yung mga filmmakers to make really world-class Filipino films. Mm -hmm. We have to stop thinking that the world starts with Batanes and ends with Holo. Mm -hmm. The market has to be the world. Mm -hmm. And yun ang emphasis namin ngayon. Yes. Education within awesome. the country. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Well, halos dalawang buwan pa lang ang nakalipas <laughs> since your appointment yeah. last April and yet you hit the ground running. Yes. At parang ang dami-dami nang nangyari since then. Just last month, you were at the 77th Cannes yeah. Film yeah. Festival uh -huh. as head of the Philippine delegation. Yes. Uh -huh. So, can you share with us some of the highlights of that trip? Oh my God, alam mo, ang maganda nito, this was the largest delegation na pumunta sa Cannes, but the smallest delegation from FDCP. Okay? <laughs> okay. Ang aming theory, okay, with the present budget, gumasta tayo sa pagtulong do sa mga pumupunta, hindi para sa atin. Mm -hmm. Okay? Instead of splurging with bringing so many people there, costing so much, let's give it to the, to the young, young filmmakers and producers who are going there. Mm -hmm. there, were, uh, there were 80 Okay, 80 Filipinos who were in Cannes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in various programs, the Producers Network, tapos yung Director's Fortnight, 
ang dami-dami. Mm-hmm. Okay, plus the fact that mayroong uh, r- uh, premiere ng uh, re uh, ng, ng, ng restored version ng Bona mm-hmm. ni yes. Lino Broca starring Nora Honor, mm-hmm. two national artists. Um, there were so many activities going on uh, and then uh, the Philippines is part of a newly formed alliance called um, the Asian Film Alliance Network, which is composed of seven Asian countries forming a bloc mm-hmm. in which we share technology, we share cultural uh, exchanges, mm-hmm. okay, and so and dami, and dami, dami nangyari. It mm-hmm. was um, very exciting, mm-hmm. but we were there for six days, mm-hmm. so it wasn't at all a junket, you know, I read yeah. from... Jet lag then all you hit the you hit the ground running kasi yeah. akala ng tao pagpunta ron para kang nagbabakasyon bakasyon hindi hindi, <laughs> <laughs> hindi. Ma- hindi. M- m- no ma- madaming trabaho no lisa kasi we're spending taxpayers money yeah okay we have to be very responsible mm-hmm. and uh, we have to be accountable mm-hmm. okay for spending the money uh, donated or given in as obligation by uh, their, your fellow citizens. Mm-hmm. We're all taxpayers mm-hmm. and, you know, we know how it is to pay taxes. Mm-hmm. So when it is spent, uh, the FDCP is very careful that it is accountable and it is responsible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good to know. <laughs> Ay, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so you've been attending film festivals worldwide. Mm-hmm. Um, what uh, noticeable changes have you observed uh, especially the ones brought about by advances in technology, changing preferences of moviegoers, mm-hmm. the f- streaming, you know, I, oh, the streaming I, platforms. You know, um, the, 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 the end result, the consequences, mm-hmm. the after effects of the pandemic, they're life-changing. Mm-hmm. Our lives changed completely, more so the entire uh, the entire ecosystem of the entertainment business. Mm-hmm. Ang isang kapansin-pansin, okay, na nangyari is that uh, yung problema ng Pilipinas ay problema sa karamihan, hindi naman sa lahat, no, pero sa karamihan ng mga bansa sa buong mundo. Mm-hmm. Na pakaunti ng pakaunti na ang mga tao na nanonood sa sinihan. Lahat ay nagsisilipatan sa streaming platforms. Streaming At ang resulta nito ay, lalo-lalo na sa Pilipinas, pakaunti ng pakaunti na ang mga producers na gumagawa ng pelikula mm-hmm. para sa sinihan. Para sa sinihan. At mm-hmm. yung mga gumagawa man ng mga content, nakadirect na yan sa mga streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. Maraming mga implications yan, Lisa. Mm-hmm. Maraming maraming implications. Mm-hmm. Number one, we have to preserve, we have to sustain Philippine cinema because if we only become a service, you know, content provider for streaming platforms, it could possibly result to the death of national cinemas. Mm. Okay, because uh, kailangan din kailangan din yung cinema na nagre-represent sa kultura at katauhan natin. Mm-hmm. Yan din ang isa sa mga prioridad ngayon ng FDCP. You mm-hmm. know, within the year and a half, my God, that I you know I'm going to be seated in that position. We are working so hard to sustain and to convince and to give uh, all kinds of incentives to local producers to keep on making films mm-hmm. for cinemas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that we noticed when we went to the foreign festivals is that your market has to be the world. Yes. Uh, karamihan ng mga pelikulang ginagawa ngayon, hindi lamang yung isang studio ang gumagawa sa isang bayan. Mm-hmm. Ang dami mga co-productions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kung manonood ka na ibang pelikula, kita mo na, you get money from Europe, you get money from Asia, mm-hmm. you get money from the Americas. Mm-hmm. Because that's the, that's the trend. and means, It means that the market becomes wider. Mm-hmm. And that is a challenge for Filipino producers. Mm-hmm. Hindi na si Aling Tale at si Mang Bebong ang yung magiging audience. Kailangan, mm-hmm. you have to think of it to cross borders. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, at hindi enough na kumita ang pelikula mo sa Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. Yung Hindi ko sa minamaliit yung merkado natin sa Philippines, no, yung market natin. But the Philippines is a drop in the bucket if you have the world as a market. Mm-hmm. Hindi ba? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, uh, a highly computer-generated, you know, mga special <laughs> effects. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The most beautiful and the most sellable and the most commended films are the simple ones which are sincere to the nation mm. and to the culture, but achieving universality and mm-hmm. appreciated by the world. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, mm-hmm. okay, we have producers who can be convinced 
to create movies such as that. Mm -hmm. Yung sabi ko, ah, And what kind of incentives are you giving Ay, marami, the marami. Kami, so, I mean, uh, meron kami mga pinaplano ngayon na programa mm -hmm. na from script level hanggang sa production, tutulungan namin. Mm -hmm. uh, we're coming up with a, pro, uh, with a program called the Incubation Program. Nakukuha kami ng mga writers. Pipili kami ng writers screened by uh, screened by senior veteran script writers. Hindi ako yan, ha? Si Nariki Lee yan, ha? Uh -huh, okay. okay. <laughs> screened, you know, screened by you know, veteran script writers. And then we're going to choose about 15 of them. We will incubate them, lock them up. They will try to develop it. And then we're going to give it to producers. Kapag pinikap ito ng producer, so social mga ang FDCP, we're going to give a certain amount to that producer uh -huh. non-recoupable sa amin. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. That's also producer. But it has to be a world-class quality story. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It cannot be, you know, more of the, more of the same. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yan ang isa namin programa. Ikalawa namin ginagawa na incentive is we're giving so much incentive to young filmmakers. Mm. Lisa, you know that in Valley. You start mm -hmm. them young. Oh, yes. Oh. You start mm -hmm. them young. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're, uh, we created the Academic Film Society, which is an organization of all the schools in the country which teach com arts, film, and communication arts, mm -hmm. and um, uh, mass com. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're giving incentive to these kids. We're going to have a big convention in September. Mm -hmm. Of which we'll have all the film teachers, all the film students interacting one another so that you're not just the Filipino filmmaker in Manila. Mm -hmm. You're going to interact with the Filipino filmmaker in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. You're going to interact with the Filipino filmmaker in the Visayas. You're going to exchange stories oh, and you will find out no. that you will share stories. Oh, 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 oh. Isa pa rin yung namin ginagawa, Lisa, na isa pa yan na yung let's have a national cinema which is not Manila-centered. Mm -hmm. I want to see the movies of Mindanao. <laughs> Parang matagal ng... It was a good idea already, even before, di ba? Yeah, matagal na yun. Pero it was never done. Matagal nang pinag-uusapan. It was no? never. Oh, we were, you know, ang, you know, there's nothing wrong with it to be more concerned about, you know, bringing in the foreigners or showing it to the foreigners. Can we show it first to ourselves? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is no point. How can you convince a foreigner to be impressed with your movies, whereas the Filipinos themselves do not believe in their movies? Mm -hmm. Hindi ba dapat yung Pilipino muna ang maniwala sa kanyang ginagawa bago natin makonvince ang foreigner. So we're working on that. You have a lot of work. But before, pause muna. Okay. Pause muna. You got me started. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang FDCP Chair and CEO na si Direk Jose Javier Reyes. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos na ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ating Arts Calendar sa Sining Biswal, iniahandog ng Gateway Gallery sa pakikipagtulungan ng Filipino Heritage Festival Incorporated at may suporta ng J. Amado Araneta Foundation ang exhibit na Larry Alcala, Slices of Life, Wit and Humor. Tampok ang mga obra ng yumaong national artist Larry Alcala, kilalang editorial cartoonist at illustrator na lubikha ng mahigit sa limang daang cartoon characters, tatlongpong comic strips at naglatang Hala ng labing limang libong comics sa kanyang 50-year career. Makikita ang exhibit hanggang June 30. Sa musika, bilang pagdiriwang ng kanilang ikadalawamputlimang taon, lalahok muli ang Novo Concertante Manila sa mga patimpalak sa ibang bansa. Bilang paghahanda, magkakaroon sila ng send-off concert na binansagang Into the Night sa June 29, ikaanim ng gabi sa David M. Konsunji Theater, Institute of Civil Engineering, UP Diliman, Quezon City. Ang makakakaroon kalap na pondo ay gagamitin para sa pagsali ng grupo sa isang choral competition sa Spain sa Julio. Para sa tiket at karagdagang detalye, bumisita sa Facebook page ng Novo Concertante Manila. Patuloy na isinasagawa ng Cultural Arts Events Organizer kasama ang Manila Pianos Artist Series ang Chopin Fest 2024 bilang pag-obserba ng 175th Death Anniversary ng tinaguriang Poet of the Piano na si Frederick Chopin. Itatanghal ang Concert 4 sa June 29, ikapito ng gabi sa Manila Piano Showroom sa Paseo de Magallanes, Makati City. Tampok ang mga pianistang sina Ina Montesclaros na tutugtugin ang Piano Sonata No. 2 at Michael Valenciano na tutugtugin ang Piano Sonata No. 3. Para sa tiket, pumisita sa tiketome.net. 
tinesting, sinuri, siniyasan. Ang resulta? Super effective ang shield sa pagpatay ng bakterya at virus. Shield Antibacterial Soap. Believe ang mga eksperto sa Philippine Nurses Association. At si Mami, tiwala ako sa shield. Shield Antibacterial Soap. Napatunayang mabisa ang mga nurse tiwala. ACS. Hello, Washi! Laundry day na naman! Yehey! Anong meron? Mansya ng chocolate, oh. butik, oh. may libag pa! Kaya natin yan! With Pride Washing Machine Detergent, may triple stain away formula. Tanggal ang makapit, madikit, at malupit na tumit mansya. Kaya easy-easy ang nabada. Mula noon, hanggang <laughs> ngayon! All you need is pride! All you need is pride! ACS Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Art to Art. Andito pa rin tayo sa Art to Art at kasama pa rin natin ang bagong pinuno ng Film Development Council of the Philippines, ang premyadong direktor na si Jose Javier Reyes. So, direct, uh, napakarami nating umuusbong na mahuhusay na bagong mm. filmmakers, mga indie filmmakers. Karamihan sa kanila nakikilala Mo, natin sila sa pagsali nila sa mga international film mm. festivals, nananalo sila sa international film festivals, pero yung pelikula nila, hindi pa napapalabas exactly, dito. Exactly. Okay. So, how does the FDCP help in marketing and dis distributing these Filipino films here and abroad? Especially yung mga ginagawa nitong mga indie filmmakers. Ako, mahabang kwento ito. Okay, pinres mo na naman ang <laughs> okay. play bottom ko. Okay, okay. play. <laughs> okay, umpisahan natin sa basic premise. Mm -hmm. Two of the most internationally recognized filmmakers in our country, Filipino filmmakers, are uh, Lab Diaz mm -hmm. and Brillante Mendoza. Mm -hmm. Ironically, even more foreigners have seen their films than Filipinos. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ito yung mga celebrated international filmmakers natin na ang hindi nakakapanood ang Pilipino. Mm -hmm. uh, dahil sinasabi nila na hindi raw ganon ang panlasa ng Pilipino sa uri ng mga pelikula ang ginagawa nila. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi nangangahulugan na walang kwenta ang mga pelikula nila. Mm -hmm. okay? So it all boils down to dapat siguro palawakin natin okay, ang appreciation ng audiences para makakita ng iba't ibang uri ng klase ng filmmaking kaysa dun sa nakabihas na natin sa mainstream filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Tama ang dami-daming magagandang indie filmmakers, mga bata. Okay? Ang isang ipinaglalaban ngayon ng FDCP is to give them the venue to be seen. Okay? Kaya dinadala namin hindi lamang mga indie filmmakers dito sa Maynila, kundi all over the regions. Okay? Na ipapalabas namin yan uh, sa mga, may mga cinema text kasi kami, mga maliliit kami mga sinihan uh, Meron sa Maynila, meron sa Iloilo, meron sa Negros, meron sa Davao, okay? meron sa Sambuanga. Okay? Doon namin ipapalabas yung mga pelikulang nila di, na para ma-distribute. Ma Kuminsan kasi, even within the region, di na napapanood yung mga pelikula nung yeah. ginagawa nila. Mm -hmm. Iikot namin yan. Mm -hmm. Iikot namin yan. Tapos, kinausap na namin ang SEAP. What is SEAP? That is the uh, Cinema Exhibitors Association of the Philippines na kukuha kami ng ibang sinihan, may ibang araw, babayaran ng FDCP yung, yung screening ng araw na yon mm -hmm. At ang minimal cost, mapapanood ng mga tao itong mga regional films na to. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. At sinabi nila, siya, yeah, ano nood nun? Sabi, hindi ba mga, mga film students lang, mga ano? We don't care. Mm -hmm. The fact is, they get the chance to see it. Mm -hmm. Okay? And maybe, perhaps, and most likely, they will appreciate the works done by fellow filmmakers who are not from Manila. Mm -hmm. Lisa, you, 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 you've done workshops. Mm -hmm. You've seen the narratives and you've seen the talents mm -hmm. okay, of our countrymen who are not in Manila, mm -hmm. but all over the country. Mm -hmm. You want to see them dance, but we want to hear their stories mm -hmm. because their stories will be so different from the stories of our filmmakers in Manila. Mm -hmm. Yan, isa namin, ano yan, isa namin kami tapos, di ba? Walang nanonood na sinihan dahil sabi nila mahal daw ang sine. Mm -hmm. So we came up with a program called Sine 50. 50 pesos. 50 pesos lang? Oo. Wow. Kasi binayaran ng FDCP yung, yung, yung sinihan. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, it was very successful. Ang mga pinapalabas namin doon, Filipino classics. Filipino classics which you don't regularly see on the big screen. Mm -hmm. We also acquire films. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
uh, like Anatomy of a Fall, pag pupunta kami sa festival, nag acquire kami ng films na alam namin hindi kukunin ng mga mainstream distributors. Mm. Papalabas namin yan doon mm. at a much lower price. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. That way, yung mga film students, yung mga film enthusiasts have a chance to see it yes. the way it should be seen mm-hmm. on the big screen. Mm-hmm. You know, it was so successful that now, even the SEAP, the exhibitors, are giving us 35 screens mm-hmm. okay, to have Cine Cincuenta mm-hmm. because they know that it's worth it's worth it's worth the effort it's mm-hmm. worth the it's worth the investment mm-hmm. um isa pa naming ineemphasize kayo is the development of uh, the regional filmmakers mm. the development of the regional filmmakers so that they may not have the technology of Philip of Manila filmmakers but we will try to bring it to them mm-hmm. through workshops uh, through various talks, through various endeavors, at more so the chance to show their films. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Yon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So, in what aspects do we have to catch up to be, you know, to be compa- comparative to the rest of the world? You know what? Yung technology given na yan, third Uh-oh. world tayo, no? Okay. Oh my God, we cannot afford Kasi it. Kasi sasabihin nila lagi budget, budget, oh. budget. Wala you, tayong budget. You know what? It's not about budget. Uh-huh. It's about stories. Mm-hmm. You can have, you know, some of the most successful and box office hits ng mga, mga big studios in the U.S., they're theme park rides. Mm, mm-hmm, okay? mm-hmm. They're theme park rides. And we cannot match that kind of technology. Yet, you can come up with a very simple story as long as it's well done, as long as it's well polished. Mm-hmm. It's going to have universal appeal. You know, an example I'd like to give, which is... Uh, a major indie mm-hmm. commercial film which was shown last year. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, it's called Past Lives, okay, by Celine Song, okay, which is about Korean Americans, okay, and uh, it's a love story. So simple, mm. so little the budget, <laughs> but so impactful mm. that it crosses borders. You don't have to be a Korean or a Korean American to understand the universality of that story. Mm-hmm. Why can't we make stories like that? Mm, 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 Why do you keep making mistress stories? Hindi ba? Amisha stories? Hindi ba? It's about time we grew up a bit. Yeah. Mm-mm. There is nothing wrong with commercial films. I will repeat that. There mm. is nothing wrong with commercial films. But in order mm-hmm. for us to move on, we have to mature a bit mm-hmm. and try something more and start thinking of a market much larger than just our territory. Well, speaking of market, mapapansin nga natin na ang mga tao nanonood ng Filipino films pag Met- Metro Manila Film Festival o kaya Sinamalaya, Mm-mm. pero the rest of the year medyo matamlay. At, True. At, uh, uh, you know, mag, mag, matamlay ang publiko para Mm-mm. manood ng pelikula ng Pilipino. So how do you think we can make our film industry sustainable. Okay, number one. Tama yung sinabi mo. Wow, Metro Manila Film Festival suddenly exploded. Okay, yes. suddenly the top grocer rewind earned 500 million pesos. Mm-mm. Okay, but then let me be truthful. Out of the 10 movies of Metro Manila Film Festival, only about three and a half made money. Mm-hmm. All the rest lost money. Mm-hmm. And um, we came up with a, with a study survey as late as May. From January, which was the end of the Metro Manila film, up to May, there was not a single Filipino film that made money. Mm-hmm. So, does it mean that the Filipino movie industry lasts for 10 days? No, we can't do that. We, 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 oh. we cannot do that. Mm-hmm. There are numerous reasons behind that. And we came up with a survey. The mm-hmm. FDCP came up with a survey, uh, which was presented to the theater owners as well as to the producers. And one thing was found out, okay? Um, the DNE markets, the masa they can't afford to watch movies anymore. Mm. Okay? At the price of tickets ranging from 350 to 400 pesos, if you are a minimum wage earner, na kumikita ka ng 600 pesos, there's no way you're gonna spend 400 pesos to watch a movie. Yes. Okay? Hindi lang naman yung gakain ka pa, hindi mm-hmm. ba magta-transport ka. Mm-hmm. No way. Ang audience natin, C1, hindi man A eh. C1 and B na lang. Mm-hmm. So, what does that mean? Yung mga dating formula na pinapanood ng, ng, ng masa, hindi na yon ang pinupunta sa sine. Ang pinupuntahan nila, mga event movies. Mm. Um, bakit kumita ang rewind? Oh, a lot of actors. It was a perfect storm. Mm. Okay? Mm-hmm. The lead actors never made a movie together. What's important? Christmas. People had money. Mm. People had bonus. Mm-hmm. And for some Filipinos, that was Christmas for them mm-hmm. to watch a movie. Yes. But at 400 pesos, Lisa, 
hindi ka manonood ng lahat ng pelikula. Mm-hmm. Pipili ka lang ng isa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maswerte kung manood ka ng dalawa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, you talked about Cinemalaya. Niche market ang Cinemalaya. Okay, these are the, these basically are kids and cineasts. Mm-hmm. But then, does that mean that again, they're just gonna watch it 10 days? <laughs> no, a year? Mm-hmm. So what mm-hmm. will happen? What, what's mm-hmm. gonna happen? Yeah. So that's yeah. why we need to work on sustainability. Mm-hmm. That's why we wait to make sense. We are talking with SEAP, okay? for a possibility of lowering ticket prices. We are talking with another. FDCP together with the producers group are working with SEAP na baka naman pwedeng magkaroon tayo ng skin na ibaba ang, ang, ang yeah. ticket. Well, para mas pa- Philippine Theater has the same problem. Oh, yeah. my, my ballet company has the same problem. Di ba grabe? You know, <laughs> <laughs> ang, ang, ang survey namin is students will not pay more than 100 pesos to watch a, a ballet performance. And you know? how much so, is a usual ticket? Price? I just go. <laughs> no, I, you know what? You know to what, be Lisa, sustainable? Oh, you know, Lisa, you know, Lisa, I, I, I found the same question with the mm-hmm. theater, yes. the drama. Mm-hmm. Somebody invited me, and I haven't seen a play for the longest time. Mm-hmm. When I found out the cost of a play ticket, of a ticket for theater, I mm-hmm. fell off my chair. Mm-hmm. Four mm-hmm. digits to pala. Mm-hmm. Ang cost. Yes, yes. So sabi ko, that really, really, really limits the market. We have to find a way mm-hmm. to make it more accessible to the masa. Oh, we have another plan. Mm-hmm. Okay, sa FDCP. Mm-hmm. Ito talagang, you know, mm-hmm. uh, blueprint pa lamang. We will bring, if you don't want to go to the movie house, we will bring the movie house to you. Ah, okay. 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 O yung mga truck na may uh-huh. mga screens, we're going to bring it to LGUs. <gasps> Wow, traveling movie house. Yeah, talaga. And okay. we will show them, you know, movies that, you know, people should watch. These are the classics. So, uh-huh. ginagawa na ito nung araw eh. Ginagawa na ito nung araw eh. Uh-huh. So, we're going to, we, we realize something. For a person to watch a movie now, the movie has to be an event. Uh-huh. Talagang grabe yung promo, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, Metro Manila Film Fest, maraming nanood ng sine kasi yung mga artista, they made the rounds of, of theaters. Pag nakita mo si Vilma Santos na nasa takilya, mm. nagbebenta ng ticket, bibili ka mm-hmm. ng ticket. Mm-hmm. So, ang mm-hmm. sabi namin, if, you know, if, if that's the case, then we will create events for yes. people to watch for uh-uh. free. Uh-uh. Okay. okay, so yeah. that they will realize the excitement of watching a movie with people around you. Yes, yes. Because that's okay. how movies okay. are meant to be savored. Okay. okay? Yun, marami yeah. kaming pinapla. <laughs> <laughs> And I have to do this in a year and a half. Okay? Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. well, experience tells us that na hindi naman prerequisite ang pagiging director para maging pinuno ng FDCP. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are there any advantages to your being a filmmaker in running this agency? Uh, there was just one other filmmaker who headed this agency, the very first one, Loris Guillen. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, I guess my advantage, Lisa, is because I am almost 200 years old. Okay? <laughs> I've been through the entire gamut okay, of, being, of, of working in films. Mm-hmm. I started out as a writer. Mm-hmm. I became a director. Mm-hmm. And I eventually became a producer. Mm-hmm. And then, lately, I've been acting. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, I've been through it all. You so, know I, every aspect. I of, I know. Uh, alam ko kung may lanlolo ko sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> dahil alam ko nagpinagdaanan ko lahat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I I've been through the process of conceptualization mm-hmm. all the way to production, all the way to marketing. So I know I have an overview and I have you know a, an, an insight into each and every one of the aspects and I think that works to an advantage. Mm-hmm. And then needless to say I talk too fast. Okay? <laughs> and I think that also helps mm-hmm. okay in being a chairman mm-hmm. uh, so that you can communicate easily okay mm-hmm. not only with your fellow Filipinos but with other film councils that you should deal with mm-hmm. I am not saying that I am most fit because I'm sure there are a dozen more who are even more qualified than me it's just that I am making the most out of the knowledge that I have mm-hmm. with the amount of time given to me to head the mm-hmm. agency mm-hmm. are you sure it's only one and a half years well so far okay unless <laughs> you know unless I get renewed which uh, uh-huh. Let's see. Okay. You know, I mean, because the, the sacrifices that you have to give in order to stay uh-huh. in office are great. Yeah. And you mentioned already a lot of uh, um, activities that we can look out for. But for the rest of the year, mm-hmm. what, um, what are your activities that are lined up? And how can we get this information? Like schedules, everything? Okay, all right. Is there a website? That, oh, there is. We do yeah. have a website. Okay. The FDCP has a website which provides all the necessary information and updates mm-hmm. Okay, in uh, re- regarding our various activities. First and foremost, well, we have the 
Well, we have the Philippine uh, film, uh, the Philippine Film Industry Month, which will happen in September. September. Okay, which is a big okay. celebration, and uh, we are celebrating the 100th year of Eddie Romero. Oh wow! It's his 100th a... birthday. Uh -huh. Since it's his 100th birthday, we are celebrating his being a national artist. And the Philippine Film Industry Month will be dedicated to the national artists in film. So we are going to celebrate the films of. Um, Lamberto Avellana, Gerardo de Leon, okay, Alino Broca, uh, Ismael Bernal, Kidla Tahimik, yeah, and Marilu nice. Diaz Abaya, and Manuel wow. Conde, the seven. Okay. Ano. So we're going to reshow all these films, okay, uh, the restored versions, okay. Uh, uh, in uh, the opening will be in Met, in which we're going to show an Eddie Romero film, and then we're finding venues, okay, to show the the, the films of the seven national. Aliu Theater. Aliu Theater. <laughs> All right, and then uh, after that, uh, we, we will uh, the 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 big uh, film uh, AFS, the Film Education Convention, mm -hmm. which will have uh, film uh, film teachers as well as film students all over the country, and we'll have a mini film festival of student films Galing. all over the country, the uh -huh. best student films all over the country, which I okay. think is very important, yes, so that these yes. kids can learn. And then, uh, oh God, we're also going to start a new program, me and my big mouth, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's called Film for Peace, mm -hmm. okay, of which we will try to find a way of using film as a language of peace. Mm -hmm. You see, if there is one thing that this... Okay, I'm going to get teary-eyed here. Mm -hmm. One thing that this country needs is a national vision and unification. One thing beautiful about our country, Lisa, which I know you, you realize, is that we are such a diverse nation. We are, we are an archipelago of 7,000 islands of more than 77 languages. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to define us as a nation because of our diversity. Mm -hmm. But maybe film is a good medium. Maybe film is the perfect medium mm -hmm. for us to celebrate our diversity and find our unity. Okay, so we are going to encourage the film for peace. Mm -hmm. And by this, we are encouraging regional films to be made, talking about being Filipino. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. and we will find out that there is a common denominator in our diversity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big thing that I'm working on, which I hope I can accomplish in its full completion by the end of my term. Okay, okay? Uh, and the idea of Film for Peace came from a teacher in Mindanao mm -hmm. because she said that, you know, we are so misunderstood. We hope to make film a, ve a vessel for people in Manila to understand us Mindanaoans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said, yeah, let's 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 work on that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we have other. Oh, we also have the National Artist Project. Mm -hmm. What is the National Artist Project? We're going to give grants mm -hmm. to um, documentaries, research, whether they are uh, uh, research in terms of independent research or even masteral and doctoral dissertations, which will deal with a research and the, on, on the works of the Philippine National, National Artists for Film. Mm. So, mm -hmm. yun, because we want to encourage the publication of books and research on national artists on, and as well as on film. So, okay. those are the things that, I mean, the teacher in me always emerges <laughs> because I always believe that, you know, uh, education is the first step for development. Yes. Okay. Uh Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I talked too much. Manong okay. maraming maraming salamat. Of course, uh, Direct Joey, and, and uh, we wish you really all the best. Thank in, you so much. Uh, as chairman of FTCP, and you know, we hope that yes, the the Philippine film industry will catch up with in, the rest of you the You know, world. in the same manner that I wish, okay, that all our arts, specifically mm -hmm. the Filipino as a dancer, mm -hmm. is also recognized and given the due respect mm -hmm. that the art form deserves. Mm -hmm. Dadating din tayo dyan. <laughs> I am always positive. Okay, okay. thank you, thank so you. So rest assured, kasama namin kayo. Okay, thank sa, you. Okay. Sa pagsuporta sa inyo. Thank you so much. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha Elizalde, nagpupugay sa Artista ng Pilipino. Thank you.